together. I'm thrilled, but what's the occasion? It's about Roland. This got something to do with all his notes we've been finding? Been meaning to take a crack at him myself, but all that dimension hopping mumbo jumbo. Well, after cutting through the jargon, I figured out that Roland had the means to traverse dimensions. He wrote about the transceiver, right? The one he gave to Vern? Maybe it's the key. Hate to be a spoil sport, but a talking box isn't gonna do much on its own. Don't we also need Fix-It Dude's magic to open the gate? I got that impression too, but his final transmission was less reassuring. Before all this mess happened, maybe he had thought he could escape any dimension on his own. But luck wasn't on his side. Let's not forget he's stuck in Bahamut Versa's dimension. A pocket of space so powerful it could even contain Angra Mainyu's reality-distorting powers. It's no wonder that Roland couldn't open a gate. And if an Astral couldn't manage, what are we supposed to do? Grab a crowbar? Hang on. I think I have a plan. Fifteen years ago, during the Dali catastrophe, Bursa manifested in the Sky Realm to stop Angra Mainyu, right? Lilith managed to seal Versa inside of me during that incident. Your crew severed our connection, but a vestige of its power remains. So Roland's magic failed because he drew on Angra Mainyu's power. But if we draw on Versa's even stronger capabilities... Then we might have a chance. It's worth a shot. My thoughts exactly. I never asked for that cursed dragon's power. But I might as well put it to good use. Besides, I can still feel that dragon out there. Hey, Helmsman. Still remember where we last fought? Sure do. I can get the Grand Cypher turned around in a flash. So, is this the end of Mr. Fixed's reign as town handyman? Come on, after all he's contributed, once we get rolling back, they ought to team up and take the handyman world by storm. Let's cross that bridge when we get there. First, we rescue Roland. We're with you, Id. Thanks, crew. We've got your back. Head to port when you're ready. Fix it, dude is waiting for us. Don't mind if I do. Roland. Okay, Dragon of Destruction. Your power better work.
the limit. Give me a hand. Here and now.
Crusher. Time has come to put Verso away for good, but I'm going to need everyone's help. Oh, 
trying to hold back a waterfall. Easy, dude. We can take over from here. Give me an opening, and I'll drive the final nail in its coffin. Got it. I'll cover you. Just hang in there. First off, let me say thank you all so very, very much. You too, Id. I'm glad that you're safe. <laughs> right back at you. chose the wrong path, and left only suffering in my wake. I committed sins no one could ever deign to forgive. Even so, this world offered me a shot at redemption. I need only look to the compassion of my newfound allies to see that. Glad to have you back, Roland. Yeah. We came to save you. But you rescued us instead. No, no. I have brought you nothing but trouble. This marks a new chance. I won't let it slip away. I'll do everything I can to atone. I must. We were worried sick about you! Same here. You sounded way too relaxed during your final transmission. Mm-hmm, that's right! Lilith raised me to subdue these skies, but your crew gave me direction. 
Say! Who wants to grab a cold one back in Volca? I could go for a frosty glass of apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looking back on all that's led up to this moment, maybe there was a reason for the suffering, the strife. Well, the skies won't tell me how to wield it. I was given this power, and I will atone for the sins of my past. I'm sure we can see eye to eye there, can't we? Oh, God of destruction. The Sky Realm is under my protection now. Back in good old Volca. Welcome home, Roland. Id was covering your butt as the local handyman while you were gone. He's like the local town celeb now. My goodness, it has a sociable side now. How long was I trapped in that dimension? Huh? Sorry, on a serious note, it does seem as if time passed at a crawl for me. Or maybe time as we know it doesn't exist where I was. In fact, it felt as if only a few minutes had passed before you suddenly reappeared to save me. Huh. Now that you mention it... Mother once said time works differently in Estalusia. But I can't remember much else from the conversation. Whoa! Now that's interesting. Maybe there's a connection with Versa's dimension. Only one way to be sure. <laughs> you want me for the long haul? Sounds... fun, to be honest. But I think I'm going to stick to handyman work for a little while longer. If that's okay with you. No prob. <laughs> well, well, well. It seems my successor has become my rival. Not that I mind a bit of healthy competition. <laughs> With both of you on the case, Volca's never going to have problems again. Forget Volca. Sega Grande's gonna be all fixed up like never before. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Sega Grande was one step away from oblivion. But you and your crew saved us all. On behalf of the residents of this Skydom, we are eternally grateful that you've graced our lands. In truth, I realize that our humble slice of the sky is but one stop on your grand adventure. And that you could have easily concluded your business here the moment you sealed Bahamut Versa away. But you linked arms with Id, and came to my rescue instead. <laughs> Imagine that. When this all began, I thought I would be the one to save the day. Now, I suppose you'll be shoving off for the next Skydom soon enough. It's going to feel lonely in Folka without your good cheer. If you're ever in the neighborhood, feel free to drop by and regale me with the latest tales of your daring adventures. Until then, I wish you and the entire crew fair skies as you embark once more into the blue. Captain, I say this with all my heart. Thank you for everything. Try? <laughs> 